morning, Chris. How are you? Well, then. How are you doing? I'm doing I'm well. Very fine. Thank you. It's good to finally meet you virtually. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah so thank you for accepting to participate to this um, AGF podcast. So uh, today I have a, I have three questions for you uh, in order to, to get to know you a little bit more. Um, first of all, can you tell me a little, a little bit about your role at AGF? Uh, what do you do? What's your, what's your job exactly? Uh, well, my role within AGF is I'm Health and Safety Manager for Western Canada. Uh, recently, we've hired a new teammate. Uh, her name is Caitlin Francis to take over the VC operations. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been a great addition to our team for sure. She has certainly lessened my workload here in the West. Uh, in Calgary, we have about 30 shop employees and around 100 field employees at peak season. So it keeps me rather busy. We're in Saskatchewan, we're in BC, and we're in Calgary. So we're definitely, we're spread out. We're spread yeah. out. So it's been a challenge, but it's been, uh, it's been fun. Yeah, I can imagine that. Good. Um, and during uh, your career, what do you consider as the main challenge in um, regarding health and safety in the industry? Well, I would say the challenge is besides COVID-19 that has sent our way. Um, complacency seems to be our biggest downfall. I've noticed it from branch to branch. Oftentimes, we become too uh, too familiar, too comfortable with their tasks. Uh, we tend to do things that are high risk. We do them very well, but it seems like our routine task is something that we've uh, become far too comfortable with. So I stress we as leaders, we need to constantly remind our teammates to always remain focused and look out for one another. So more or less be your brother and sister's keeper. Now, I notice uh, housekeeping can be an issue at times, which we get workers that trip and fall, but we can work at confined space, we can work at heights, we can work with equipment, we do it very well, it's just the, the routine tasks which seems to uh, get us. Okay, good. And um, finally, um, so I, I think that you've been working for three years now uh, at AGF. Uh, have you, do you have uh, any anecdote or something you, you have experienced uh, like a, a challenge met or an accomplishment by you or by your, your team? I would uh, actually like to take this time to commend our workforce. Um, I've seen drastic changes over the last three years. And we have a windmill crew that's been on the road for much over a year now. Uh, they've been constructing the wind tower bases. These employees uh, have placed well over 150 tower bases with one injury, and it was a rolled ankle. This group has been nothing short of amazing. Uh, I'd like to commend them. Uh, when it comes to health, safety, and production, this group is they are very tight, and safety and production come hand in hand. Their safety documentation and their safety performance is uh, world class. I would also like to uh, commend our shop workers in Calgary. Uh, today's the 125th day without an injury. The culture has certainly shifted over the past year. Health and safety is their top priority, and it certainly shows in their performance. This is why I'm proud to be a member of AGF. So I would like to commend our groups here in Alberta. They're doing a, a great job, and I would like for them to keep up the good work. Wow, thank you. It's uh, very good to, to see that uh, everyone's making some efforts and uh, they're, they're doing such a, a great job to, to make sure everyone's safe. Very much so. It's been, uh, been a great year. Good. Well, thank you very much, Chris. It's what, it was really, really interesting to uh, speak to you. And uh, I wish you more days uh, without uh, any, uh, any incident. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. in your team. Take Go good on. care and uh, I hope to, to talk to you later. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.